only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Freedom to sell sex? And should they have the freedom to get high? Legal drugs and sex work when we return. Lots of people in American jails are here for drug use. And that's ironic because the people who make the laws and enforce them, many of them admit they use drugs. Which of you are ready to admit to having used marijuana in the past? Senator Kerry? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Edward? Yes. The audience applauds. And I didn't like it. And didn't inhale. I inhaled uh, frequently. That was, uh, that, was, that was the point. Everyone laughs. Yet these same politicians oversee a system that does this. Drug raids like this one happen in America more than a hundred times every day. What the f I do? Neil Franklin once led such raids. You've locked up hundreds of people for drugs? Absolutely, and have been responsible for thousands being arrested. You felt good about it? Yeah. We really thought these drugs made people evil. But 10 years ago, Franklin decided that drugs, even hard drugs, do much less harm to Americans than the drug war. Drugs can be and are in many cases problematic, but the policies that we have in place to prohibit their use are 10 times more problematic. Conducting drug raids is one thing that changed his mind. On this raid, a SWAT team broke into this family's house, shot their dog, once inside, they didn't find any drugs. The owner was just charged with possessing drug paraphernalia. We just don't end up with dogs being shot. We end up with kids being shot. We end up with search warrants being served on the wrong home. And innocent people on the other side of the door thinking that they are protecting their home. We should be kicking down more doors. Paul Chabot was a White House drug czar advisor under President Bush and Clinton. They're not kicking the door of somebody smoking a doobie on their couch. They're kicking the door of somebody who's a violent person with a known history to be dangerous. When they get it right, sometimes they... Because that accident happens should not be the reason that we do away with the program. Do away with it, says Franklin. It didn't stop drug use, but it created violence. Tens of thousands of people are dying. Not because they get high on drugs, but because when something's illegal, it's sold on the black market. And that causes crime. Drug dealers can't call the cops if someone tries to steal their supply, so they arm themselves to the teeth and form gangs. We have the violence of, of these gangs competing for market share, and people get hurt. Especially kids. Drug gangs constantly look for new recruits. Some of these gangs have better recruitment programs than Fortune 500 companies. They know what to say to kids. He demonstrated how they recruit kids. Check this out. <laughs> Look what I got on my feet, man. Wouldn't you like a pair of these? Just run right over there to Foot Locker and get yourself a pair. When you get up, come back and show me them, man. Okay, kid comes back, man, they looking good, man. Wouldn't you like to be able to buy a pair of them every week? Man, if you hang out with me, this is what you could be. You could be, you could have this. A few days later, the dealer sees the kid again. What, you, you dissing me or what, man? You know you owe me. Well, you offered me sneakers. You got my 120 bucks? Oh, you don't? Okay, well, here's what you got to do. You hold this for me. That's all you got to do for me, all right? Just stand here. Just stand I here and let me know when, when 5 o come, and you'll get to keep the sneakers. I got you. And if drugs were legal, people assume there would be more of that. No, so you don't understand. It is the policy of prohibition that causes that environment. And we don't have these kids on the corner, you know. <laughs> I got a fifth of Jack Daniels here for you. You want that? Jack Daniels is sold by businesses and safe, well-lit places. There's no violence here because this is legal. But there used to be violence in places like this. Gangster sequel. And Violent crime is why America ended its nine years of alcohol prohibition. Al Capone, commissar of vice and corruption. We created organized crime. Al Capone. Organized crime existed well before prohibition. But much less of it. Here's the murder rate about 80 years ago. It rose when alcohol was banned, 
dropped when it became legal again. If we were to do away with our drug laws and just sort of legitimize narcotic use in this country by saying let adults do what they do, we know statistically the drug usage numbers are going to skyrocket. But we don't know that. People think were it not for drug laws, drug abuse would be rampant. But Portugal decriminalized all drugs 10 years ago, and the number of abusers did not skyrocket. Actually, they have. In Portugal, which people often talk about today as a success, it's actually a blatant failure. We went to Portugal. He's just wrong. The other huge problem with drug use. This man is Portugal's drug czar. We have around 100,000 people uh, hooked on heroin. Fifteen years ago, heroin users shot up in the streets and junkies set up tent cities. Then, instead of doing what we've done, they tried something different. They decriminalized every drug. Crack, heroin, you name it. It's legalized. We all model in the world. Drug use is treated more like a parking ticket than a crime. People caught with drugs, like this man found with hash, get a slap on the wrist, sometimes a fine. When the law passed, did stoned people run wild in the streets, taking heroin and crack? That's so not true. This woman served in Portugal's parliament. People now take a more responsible attitude towards certain drugs. There's no police after them to choose for them. Despite that freedom, independent studies found that the number of people who say they regularly do drugs stayed about the same. And more importantly, the numbers of, uh, of uh, addiction itself decreased a lot. We saw this woman openly smoking a joint near some police officers. But we saw more public drinking than drug use. Drug abuse is down, say authorities, and drug crime is down. The police forces were a little bit uh, suspicious. At first, this police inspector had doubts about the law. But now he says it works. The level of conflicts on the street are reduced. Drug-related robberies are reduced. In fact, now the police are not the enemies of the consumers. And teen drug use is down. It brought some, some peace to this debate. But in America, the drug war rages on. Coming up, another war against prostitution. We don't sell access to the intimate self. It creates the idea that human beings are no different, no better than stuff. But these sex workers say, what is sh I choose to do this. This is what I want to do. In these piles of laws, there is one law that most of you agree with, the ban on prostitution. In America, sex is okay, money's okay, but sex for money, that's forbidden. Seven women arrested and charged with soliciting prostitution. Do you have anything to say, ma'am? The women hide their faces. TV reporters treat prostitution like most other crime. We got exclusive pictures as vice cops set up a sting at a center city hotel. Cops posing as Johns easily lured five women to the high-rise hotel even using the yellow pages. Even using the yellow pages. Think about that. It wasn't at all difficult for the police to discover the lawbreakers. Heck, the yellow pages in my town have 15 pages of so-called escort services. Sex work is common. Police ignore 90% of it. Yet when they do make busts, the implication is that the police saved the prostitutes. Jail just may be the safest place these high-end hookers have ever been. Really? Jail is the safest place these hookers have ever been? I doubt that. More importantly, where sex work is legal, there's little danger. Here in Nevada, for example. Here it's safe. We have a problem, the sheriff comes. Brooke Taylor says sex work is like any other sales job. I mean, we are entrepreneurs. We are independent contractors, just like any other business. She works at the Bunny Ranch, one of 28 legal brothels in America. Dennis Hoff is her boss. You're a pimp. You're exploiting these women. I'm not a pimp. I have a license to do this. A All pimp. right, you're a licensed pimp. 500 women choose to rent out their bodies at his brothel. You claim you're having fun? Oh, yeah. Being bought, sold? Hey, you have fun when you have sex, John? Sold. If we were being bought or sold, we'd be crying and kicking and screaming when the transaction happened. Are we doing that? No. Cheers. But wait a second. Don't you feel demeaned? 
Not at all. The U.S. State Department calls the act of selling sex for money inherently demeaning. Sex is supposed to be spontaneous. According to whom? Who made the sex laws? It's just for money. Right. Well, don't you model for money? It's the same thing. Sex is different. Sex is more intimate. Ex exploiting yourself. I choose to do this. This is what I want to do. I assume you have no other options. You felt... I have in? several options. Before I did this, I had a nice paying job. So why I do you do this? Because I want to. These girls can go out on dates and give up sex and it's fine. But if a guy leaves a hundred dollar bill on the dresser, there's something wrong with that? Interesting question. It's not that complicated to, to appreciate why we don't want to legalize prostitution. I put it to former prosecutor Wendy Murphy. She's locked prostitutes up. We don't sell access to the intimate self. It's, it creates um, the idea that human beings are no better than stuff. Slavery is against the Constitution, has been for a long time. We find it... But, but in slavery is involuntary. That's forced. Prostitution is very close to slavery. It's inconsistent with everything we know about what freedom means to subject humans to market... Let's be there. Humans are subjected to market forces all the time. Ever see a fashion show? Or a professional sports draft? Or a boxing match? Two men could beat each other's brains in, in a boxing ring, legally. Why shouldn't these girls be able to have sex for money? Sex workers told us sex is just a job, one better than some others. The girl at McDonald's doesn't love making burgers. The guy at Dwayne Reed doesn't love stocking toilet paper. Cammie Parker dropped out of a prestigious college because she wanted to do sex work. If I don't like somebody, I don't have to be with them. Opposite of slavery, I think. Nevada's got it right. Not all of Nevada. In Las Vegas, it's illegal. They got lots of disease, lots of robberies, $2 million worth of property thefts reported last year. Prohibition does not work. If you want disease, if you want money going to criminals, then keep it illegal. By keeping this illegal, you kill people. People don't get AIDS tests. They're afraid to report crimes to the police. In Nevada, in parts where it's legal, there's no crime. Oh, please. You can't die of AIDS from prostitution if you can't engage in prostitution. You can't. But they do engage anyway, even when it's illegal. So people it's just underground. Okay, so people rob banks, too. We but can't that's regulate. But stealing money from people. This is consensual. No, if Big it's difference. people will want to do things that are harmful to them. I wish you could talk to the women from the Bunny Ranch about this. and would, I'd be would, like, I can save you! I was glad she said that because the sex workers had stayed to listen to her comments. You guys are beautiful. Now they came forward to join the conversation. They work in a legal place. They say it's great. Um, well, we you like know, it. We it's, like it. It's your own choice. If you want to do it, do it. And if you don't like it, then leave. I'm happy that you're happy. That's terrific. The fact that you are having a good time is not an excuse to ignore the harm. Tell me why it's it so bad for me. Really, darling, it isn't about you. And you say, you say we get our souls sucked. You. I have been nothing but happy. I believe that the majority of prostituted women suffer harm that is so serious I would compromise your freedom to protect the majority of women, absolutely. So you want to basically tell everybody in the world what they can and can't do with their own bodies and take away like, everybody's I would freedom like to live. I would like to live in a world where people didn't hurt each other. You should be ashamed of yourself. The Senate Majority Leader agrees. The time has come to outlaw prostitution. Americans are nowhere close to accepting what you do. Because it's sex. Relax, it's just sex, America. <laughs> Even if you support the laws against sex work or drug use, do we need all these laws? So many that no one understands them? So many that even the government admits it can't count them all? No! Let's get rid of some of these laws. That's our show for tonight. Get rid of laws. Good night.